Hi everyone, my name is Naima Aidid and I'm a freshman at Westminster College and I'm planning to study neuroscience. Today we're doing hijab tutorial and this is my model. Hey guys, I'm Linda. I'm a senior in Westminster College. Um, I'm a cell design major in business and French and I'm always interested in learning um, how to do the hijab and I'm very excited today that I'm going to be the model for this video. And enjoy! <laughs> First of all, we need to cover the base. So I will have this, um, it's called the ninja hijab and we'll put it, we we'll put it on so it hides all the hair around your face and all of that. So first things first, we have to take off your bangs. Sorry, you look beautiful, but no. <laughs> we know without it. And then we have to tie it in the back so your hair doesn't come out later on. So this will be the first hijab we are using and it's one of my personal favorites. It has a lace part to it and then there's a solid part. And first thing we're doing is to fold it in half like this. So you will have, it won't be as big as it is now. And then we gotta take it and then put it on your head like this. And then this is what we're gonna do. We need to leave this side long and then this um, side short so we can have more coverage for your chest as like this. Then you can tuck it in or pin it, whatever works for you. I don't like pinning because it's, it starts to like pin your skin or something. It hurts me a lot. So I just tuck it in my shirt or sweater. And then this is what we're gonna do. You know, you know. Remember the side that we folded. We need to unfold that now, so we can have more lace shown as the scarf. So we got, this is what we're gonna do. to the side a little bit and then we can have this if it's too long and excessive all you have to do is just twist it like this and then fold it like make a little knot on the side so it doesn't go flying off and then if you want to keep this in place for the whole day then that's when you have to pin it up here. Like a safety pin or anything that you find that can make it stay for the whole day. And that'll be it. Got it. So this is the first one. You just have to play around with it. Is there a specific name for this type? Um, it probably is, but I don't know. Okay. Like, I just, for me, I like it, like, I like it all around wrapped, and I love playing with turbans, which we will do later on. But this style is just more universal, like, for every Muslim girl, like, they wear this day on a daily basis. So that's the first one. Um, so for this style, do we always have to, like, you know, like, do you... Prefer having the lace and like different yes. pattern in the scarf. I love the lace. It's in nowadays, but um, you can have any scarf. You can have this um, all like solid black one. ones. Yeah, and then you can still like play with it, do it like this. But for this, especially this one, it's so big, and then you have like so much to do. You can do so much with it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we're gonna do the second one. So we still need our ninja scarf, 
which is like a life savior for every hijab style. And this, but this time we're doing it fully on. Last time we, we made it as if it was um, another scarf, but this time we made it like for the whole head. So like you can, as you can see, it covers everything. And it is. Can I borrow one of the pins? Okay. And then grab one of your safety pins so you can make sure that it's tight enough and it's not going to be loose all over the place. Put this on. There we go. And then hide that by tucking this in. So the next one, the second scarf will be an infinity scarf and usually it's, it's a bit difficult to use um, but we found, a, we found a way around it and the most my favorite one to do with the infinity scarves is the loose scarf knowing that you have your ninja scarf underneath you don't need to hide or you don't need to cover your uh, everything so much so you do this as it is and then Make sure it goes down in the back. And then knowing like this, you just have to twist it and then go over your head. And then that's it. Yeah, it's the simplest one. And this is all you have to do is this. And then you can like wear it as a winter yeah. scarf or anything. It's actually warm. very warm. It's like yeah, when it's I wear my normal <laughs> <laughs> What? It feels like oh, what yeah. I wear my normal scarf in winter. See? That's all it is. That's the second one. Okay, on to the third one and final. Um, we already did the step, sorry, but we just have to have like more volume in the back for this um, tutorial to work. And most of you probably don't know, but it's called the tur turban. Um, and this is how you start. And you get a rectangular sc scarf or a triangle scarf, whichever works for you. And then we start from the bottom. So we make, um, sorry, <laughs> I didn't want to mean to hide your face. Um, you, can you go to the corner? Yeah, we need to have more, what is it called? Like volume. For this one, you need to go around and then you tie it in the front in contrast to the other ones that we were doing. And we need to have layers to the sides. We need to add those and then you just have to tie it up here in order it to work. Like this, this is not only for um, Muslim girls, everyone wears this. It's also an African scarf, that what people, some people call it African scarf. And you don't, like, you have to fully hide your hair if you're a Muslim, but you don't have to, just in case like this. It's not, your bangs will not be hidden as much as you wanted. And then all we have to do is twist the, twist the ends, each of them, and then Go to go to the cross of like the one. Let's just see. Yeah, if this one is on the left, twist it to the right, and then go around and tuck it in on the bottom of this side, so it stays on more. Do the same thing for this one. Twist it, twist it, and then go to this corner and tuck it in from here. Wait, this is a bit loose. Make sure it's tight enough so it doesn't come out for the rest of the day. I usually wear this when I'm going out with the girls or when I'm going somewhere that's warm so that I don't have to, when I want to show off my earrings, my necklace, whatever I'm wearing. And it's, it's a lot, like a lot less 
like formal. It's just more of a fun and hangout type. And I think it'll, it works the best. So. Yeah, so fashionable and warm, I think. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, this is, my, this is my favorite one. And I hope you liked it. If you want to show to the sides and you just have to make sure you tuck it in, in the bottom and it will stay in. Thank you for watching. Westmo got talent this week. <laughs>